First white crappie ever right there. Tackle box, check. Tackle box, check. Laptop, check. ACC sticks, check. Chips that are probably stale, check. Cars all loaded up. I'm leaving this boat here. Maybe next trip. Next trip I'll take this boat. Heading down to Southern Illinois, fishing with Matt from Three Pound Fishing. Got my ACC crappie sticks. This is actually a secondary piece. Don't need that. Everything's loaded up in the car. Open water fishing. Finally, I get to get out of the snow, out of the ice, out of the cold, fish some open water, and catch some big slabs. We got a 10 hour drive. Let's go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So much for escaping the snow and the ice, but I'm in Southern Illinois right now. Matt is down there at the boat somewhere. Oh, he's filming his intro. Today is the first open water vlog of 2019 for me. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going for my PB. Lake of Egypt behind me, going for that 16 inch crappie. Matt says there's a very good chance, a very, very good chance that I'm gonna get there, that I'm gonna actually catch that 16 inch fish but man if you didn't follow my instagram story uh the nine hour drive or nine and a half hour drive that i had from minneapolis to lake of egypt turned into about a 14 hour drive thank you snowstorm yeah that was nice we woke up to about four or five inches of snow thank you mother nature appreciate that all right enough of this intro let's get on the boat open water fishing 2019 here we go Mm -hmm. All right, we are out on the water. First open water vlog of the season. Oh. I, there we go. Still wearing the ice fishing bibs right now. There's guys right here on this point behind me. They just uh, apparently they just caught some fish. So we're gonna try try some docks right here, and uh, I'm gonna start off with a little chatterbait. You don't hear that too often. Start off with a chatterbait for crappie. <laughs> Not on Lake of Egypt. <laughs> no, no. All right, let's get casting. The problem of the Scott just got out of the boat. Is that a minnow? Yeah. Whoo, that's a good one too. First catch of the uh, open water season. Caught Matt's buoy. Well, here's our second one. And right now, this is what we're gonna decide on. Well, apparently, oh no, it's a bass. Ah, oh, dang it. I was gonna say, that's gonna be a good fish. First open water fish, 2019. And it broke me off. You going live bait? You moving your slip up a little bit, or What's that? you moving your bobber up a little bit? No, it's definitely deeper here, but I just have always learned here. I always fish four foot down, so you fish four foot down in the wintertime. They'll come up and get it. That is a good crappie. <laughs> that is a slab and a half. <laughs> oh, there he is. Thank goodness. Oh, that's not a good one. 
You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Bluegill. It's actually a good size gill, but. There we go. Got him. And I'm rolling, thank goodness. First Southern Illinois crappie. Oh my goodness, really? <sighs> Catching everything but crappie today. Boy, it took it like a crappie though, didn't it? Yeah. We got three in there. Yep. Yeah. Little midday update. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. He's caught all three of them. I had one bass that broke off, and he caught another bass. So far, it's a very slow day on Lake of Egypt. It's been a bass day. Bass day. Bass day so far. But hey, the crappie are coming. Yep. All right. New spot. Here's your midday mid update. Oh, there we go. Come on, hit it. Got him. Got you that time, buddy. Please be a crappie. I think it is. First Lake of the Egypt crappie. And it's not, I mean, I consider it a nice fish, but for here it's probably an average one. Ten and a, ten and a half, I'm guessing. Bob a crappie putting it through. <laughs> Fish number one for me. He's 10 on the dot. 10 on the dot. All right. So I thought I'd stop the video right here and explain some things because I know some of you are going to have questions like how are we finding these fish? How are we, like what are we using? How deep are they? Stuff like that. So let's set this up on a tripod real quick. Walk through the game plan of what we were using. It needs to stop snowing here in Wisconsin. It just needs to stop. We were running his Helix 10 mega side imaging unit in really shallow water and the cool thing about the mega side imaging and i hope he does a video on this when you're running in really shallow water you can clearly see the shadows of when these crappies suspend now we were fishing along these points and on the north side of these points to be specific so the cool thing about lake of egypt it's a power plant lake it's not something i normally fish what happens is when the power plant kicks off the exhaust water that's warmer water and the power plant is on the north side of lake of egypt so a lot of the guides look for a north wind, consistent north wind day after day, because what that does, it pushes all that warmer water against those northern points. So we would just go around from point to point, use the side imaging, and see if we can find any suspended fish in that four, five, six foot of water. And that's actually the first spot we've pulled up to when I said we're gonna fish for the chatterbait. We saw a bunch of fish by the dock, they're suspended out, they're suspended probably three, four feet down in six, seven feet of water. As the day went on, the, actually, the fish actually pushed shallower. We were casting into two or three foot of water, which is crazy because this was in January. This is middle January, winter fishing. The week before I filmed this with Matt, I was actually ice fishing on a lake for black crappie, same species, and I was catching them in 40 feet of water. They were suspended 25, 30 feet down. And the next week I'm catching them in less than five feet, which is absolutely crazy to me. I don't know if it's specifically with power plant lakes, but the fish really seem to be keyed into even half a degree changes in water temperature. Um, Matt obviously fishes that lake a lot, so he really knew what to look for. Uh, the lakes up north, I think the fish are a little more hardy when it comes to temperature swings. He did say, Matt did tell me that uh, black crappie are more resilient to colder temps, colder water temps 
than the white crappie. The white crappie, as soon as a cold front comes in, they'll be the first to move in his experience. Um, the black crappie will stay relatively where they are, which is why we were catching black crappie up shallow. So the other thing we were doing, we were casting everything. I was using, Matt had a bunch of seven and a half foot rods. Whoa. Matt had a bunch of seven and a half foot rods. These are, these are the uh, seven and a half foot ACC sticks. Um, that we're using for the slip bobbers, or not the slip bobbers, the spring bobbers, and he also had the cigar style bobber float. And I was throwing just a bobber and a jig. He was actually throwing a uh, the cigar float with a split shot weight and an Aberdeen hook, with both with minnows. Day one of Lake of Egypt, I think we only caught our fish on live minnows. I don't think we caught any fish on plastics. Day two was a little different. We caught a few on plastics, which will be in the next video, but day one, only live bait, it's all they wanted. So, yeah, I, we were fishing three, four feet down with the minnow, casting the shallow points. I just wanted to walk through this because I know some people had questions with that. And yes, I know the camera's got a lot of water. It just completely, from about 11.30 on till dark, it just rained, nonstop rain. So I'm curious, if you notice the weather, it was really rainy, towards the, especially towards the end of the day, it just didn't stop raining, it was a constant rain, and it was about 30 to 35 degrees. That's probably, like, that's the worst type of weather for me to fish in. I hate that weather. I would much rather fish in, like, 10 below than, than that. But that's because I'm up from up north. Comment below which type of weather would you rather fish with. Like, snow and cold? Or that, like, in between where it's, like, sleeting, freezing rain? It was, it was miserable that afternoon. Especially since we only caught about a half dozen fish. It was just miserable. <sighs> Good one. It's a decent. Oh, is it a bass? Because it was all rainy and miserable, I did not film an outro for that video. Uh, I just wanted to get out of the, my soaked clothes and get warm and dry. But it was still fun to fish a power plant lake, something I normally don't ever get to fish. Uh, but yeah, we were fishing with the seven and a half footers. Uh, if you've been on Instagram, on their ACC Crop Sticks Instagram, you would know they're all back in stock. Seven and a half footers, eight footers. So go to acccropysticks.com, click your rod, and then before you go to click the final payment button, you'll notice a discount code. You can type in this code right here, FC10. It's gonna save you 10% on your total order, okay? Type in FC10, click okay. It'll apply your 10% discount code. It helps my channel out. Plus, you're gonna save 10% on an awesome rod. Go uh, check out ACC Crappie Sticks on Instagram and Facebook. And also, huge thank you to Matt for putting me up in the lake house, let me stay there so I didn't have to get a hotel. Thank you so much. Go follow his YouTube channel. Go follow his Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to link all of their stuff, both ACC Crappie Sticks and Matt's channel, 3 Pound Fishing, below. Please go follow both of them. Um, they're huge supporters of my channel and of this entire Lake of Egypt Ren Lake series. Could not have done this without them, so please go follow their channels. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and share the video. But if you're new to the channel, please click the red subscribe button and click that bell. Oh, gosh. My poor boat took a beating in Missouri. State of Missouri was hard on my motor. Anyway, that's a different video. Ozark video is coming soon. Thank you all for watching. We'll see ya.